Hi, my name is Veronica. I'm one of the EISMA awardees to Sapienza University of Rome. I'm from Multimedia Nusantara University and I'm majoring in Visual and Communication Design. Today, I'll be telling you about the course that I take during my EISMA journey here in Italy. One of the reasons why I chose Sapienza University of Rome is because they offer a course about gender and I am currently building a non-profit organization named Rolumpuan to educate people about gender equality and women empowerment. So when I see the course list of Sapienza University of Rome, I get really interested and I feel like I want to learn more about gender, not just by reading in the internet or in the news, but I want to learn it as a course that I take in my university. So thanks to ISMA, I'm able to do it. I'm able to take a course that is outside my major. I'm really grateful that I can step out of my comfort zone and be able to add up more to my knowledge, especially about gender, because I feel like the current status quo right now in Indonesia or even in the world, women is still not on the same level as men. And this includes many aspects, especially in the workplace. So what I find the most interesting about this course is because my professor at the very first meeting of our course, she stated that in order to tackle the gender inequality in the world, we have to have data. We have to have enough data to create a policy that will tackle all the gender inequalities in the world. And this really enlightened me because as far as I've learned about gender, I can only speak up about the current cases that are happening in the world, but I've never thought about measuring the inequalities. So the most interesting thing about this course also is because we take a look of gender through the economic lens. It's really fun to take a look at gender in different perspectives. And this includes about types of work that I've never known before. This course tracks back to the history where women works at home while the man becomes the breadwinner. From this course, I find that even at home, we can still become a part of the economics, either as the producer or either as the consumer. So there's this term named home economics and it measures about the job that women are doing in the home. Well, you know, this it's as simple as being a housewife and maybe all of us have ever experienced our mom taking care of us. It's as simple as that. And this is considered as care work where someone takes care of other people. It can be children, elders, or maybe other family members. So, well, yeah, you know what? Care work needs to be paid. It gets worse even in the COVID-19 pandemic where domestic violence happened. Women, housewives are working at home all the time and this is not paid. This is recently stated by Anne Hathaway and the G20 summit where women are not getting paid enough for the care work they've done at home. And I find it really interesting because the materials that are in this course is totally relatable to what is happening right now. So I got many insights and I'm really excited to bring this home and bring this also maybe to my organization that I'm building, which is Rolung Puan, because I know that the journey to gender equity, to gender equality is still long ahead, but I believe that through small actions, through awareness, I hope that one day I can pursue gender equality with my works. And I know that it's a long journey, but we will reach it one day. My name is Veronica. Thank you. And always remember that knowledge is beyond barter.